So this was recorded over at my Twitch, link in the description. And as such, the language is foul and the humor is adult. Viewer discretion is advised. Dun 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 ba -ba -ba. Yep, sleeping skull up. Alright. What is my sleeping skill at? It is level two. So it'll probably give me, you know, a level just each time at the beginning. Raise max HP and slightly increase max RP, strength, intelligence, vitality, yeah. Oh, searching, I do get that. Treasure chest and hidden items. Higher skill will increase max RP, RP and intelligence and make it easier to discover better items. Battle axes and hammers are overwhelmingly powerful. Higher skills increase damage output and reduce RP consumption. Max RP and strength also slightly increase. That's not a bad first day. 140 max RP currently, 300 HP because, you know, of course. I got some messages. Who's messaging me? Ah. Somebody telling me to ignore the thing that they're... The thing they're doing. They're sending me because they were just trying to use me. I see how it is. Alright, let's keep it up. I have 466 points currently. So, I just gotta get to a thousand before the 10th. Not trying to check this. Actually, one thing I do want to check on this. No, there's nothing about getting rid of this, moving it. No, of course not. <sighs> so this is a base level one, so I definitely can't charge this yet. Just occur to me, is this Bryce? I'll have to check that in a minute. Watering time. Watering time. That one's big. Why is it? Oh, it's two. They're all two, apparently. Or at least those both were. Ooh. Skill up, leadership. So before I start harvesting, let's go back to watering everything. Thank you. 
Okay. There we go, not a bad start. Um, there we go. Took me a second to figure that out. I was like, hmm, I can't pick it up. Cut it. Okay, so I shipped it. Said I shipped it. Is it because I threw it in there and didn't set it in there? Give me a moment. Let's go on. Time to check this. Oh, did I save at the beginning of the day? Not the end. I really need to figure out the A and B button eventually. Yeah, I did. Never mind. <sighs> did I oversleep? Well, uh, no testing that, no trying to fix that. Sucks to suck. If anything, I guess I got some free money or something. Oh, wait. Got it. That's the issue. It ships at 8 a.m. 
It's not 8 a.m. Three, two, one. I was I was trying to look things up, and they're like talking about Rune Factory four, and how the the same thing happened. People were confused because people like me are used to the old games. All right, you've got this down. I guess this means I don't have to worry about you after all. Here, have some more seeds to grow as a little reward. Spinach wilts pretty easily, so make sure you've got plenty of water. Please check the nearby chest for some spinach seeds and potato seeds. The time has come. Potato. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Gift an item. Hello, this is Hina. Aries, I want you to make friends with more people. Please give this toy herb to somebody to make them happy. When you want to give someone a present, hold the gift in your hands, then give them, then go up to them and press the A button. Huh, who would even like it, is the question. I know some who would like this. I was literally looking at, like, a big thing online of people talking about the different people and just like, oh, these people like fish and things. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know who would like this kind of gift. I don't know these characters well enough. I want to give it to her. But Margaret, but... Dang it. I knew she wouldn't like it. Hello? Hmm? What is it? Your eyes are so sparkly. I like sparkly things. I like your eyes. Um, thanks, Fuka. I think your eyes are very pretty, too. Really? I can't see my own eyes. Yeah, that is kind of hard, isn't it? You don't have mirrors? Why do I have a notification for this place? What did you do to your niece? How dare you make her cry? Any idea where a mother could be? Before you say Tina, she and Misa got separated. We've seen neither hide nor hair of her since. Huh? No. I know my sister. If she made it to civilization, she would have said word by now. She's probably still lost in the woods. Is that so? <laughs> I miss my mommy. You'll see her again soon. <sighs> Don't cry, Hina. I'll look for your mother. You will? Really? Yes. Yeah. Dry those tears. I'll be back soon. Okay. Whispering Woods now available. So I just go south way enter and end up there. Okay. Thanks for doing my request, Ares. I'll give you a cheap sickle I found at home as a reward. My mom used to use it to cut grass. Use it on crops and you'll get seeds from them. Please become good friends with everyone at Rigbarth, but you should make sure that you become best friends with me. Please check the nearby chest for a cheap sickle.
Okay, I could buy food. Buy some food at the general store. Switch between shelves to select different items. Or I'll get a mystery reward. Deliver a squid to Cecil. Um... Cecil wants you to... I'm gonna do this first because it's seeds. And then I'm gonna question what the heck's going on with Cecil. Oh dearie, have you gone shopping in town yet? We have all sorts of lovely shops here. Randolph and I run one as well, although we only sell bread. I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you do some shopping at the general store? There's so much to see there. You should have fun just taking it all in. Take this and go buy yourself some rice there. Turner G. If you have trouble finding it on a particular shelf, then you can use the R button to search the other shelves. Time to go through their back door. says you can pay there, but like, can you? Good work today. What do you have for sale? Welcome. Okay. Rice is 200 G. Come back again. So, if this is anything like Rune Factory 4, I believe what I need to do is I need to actually go in and sell higher level veggies, and then he'll sell me higher level uh, seeds. So, I need to start chopping down one particular uh, radish, or turnip, rather, each time. If I keep chopping that one, then eventually all of my ones will be super high level. My, my, it looks like you finished your little shopping trip. Every once in a while I get the urge to eat rice, but since we usually eat so much bread, I don't often have the chance. You can use it to cook simple dishes, so it's useful to have some around. If you're interested in cooking, make sure to visit Palmo and buy a cooking table. I didn't buy one, he just kind of nice. gave it to me. Nice. Gather material stone. Does that mean you're gonna give me a hammer? If you want to start smithing, you need a strong body. Working with stone is the best way to get in shape. That's why you'll need this. You received a hammer. Break up the rocks and boulders in your field with this hammer and you'll have plenty of stone in no time. And don't worry if you run out of those. After enough time passes, you'll be sure to find more of them. The time has come. And so have I. But it's not just stone. I was trying to use this one. Alright. 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 Yes. Alright. Really thought these would be stronger. That's more what I was thinking. I just thought they'd be in the opposite order. Huh. 
Okay. Uh, now I swap over. Grows well in autumn, grows fast, but withers quickly. Grows well in spring to summer, but not in winter. Spring, but not in winter. Eating a full grown one relieves fatigue. Okay. Still not the right button. Farming up. I'll try to plant these. I want you to be the one to take me home. That kind of hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. Bring this out so I don't waste any more of my health. Right. Keep at it and you'll build up all the muscles you need. You know what they say about muscles. They can solve any problem. Can they? You'll need a lumber stone box to store the material stone. If you ever destroy it by accident, buy yourself a new one at the Studio Palmo. When you're in dungeons, you can also use hammers to mine ore in order to collect uh, metals and gems. You'll need those if you want to make yourself some good furniture, so keep an eye out for them. Please check the nearby chest for some stone. Fishing rod! Hey, how's it going? I've been fishing up a storm lately. I might become a master angler at this rate. <laughs> but even though fishing's so much fun, I usually know it's many other people doing it. So here's a little something from me to you. you receive a cheap fishing pole. If you see any fish shadows in the river or ocean or whatever, equip that fishing pole and press B to cast your line. When a fish takes the bait, you'll see the lure disappear in the water. That's your cue to hit the B button to reel it in. Man, there's nothing more exciting than getting a big bite. I can't wait to see what you reel in. Okay. I'm curious about something. Okay, so 1048, 59. Uh, gonna stretch for a minute. Drink some of my water. Yeah, I definitely got RP while standing there doing nothing in a conversation, not passing time. Well, I found an exploit. <laughs> I'm going to let this happen for a minute. I'm going to go use the restroom and refill my RP in the process. That's funny. All right. Well, 
Uh, M, if you're watching the VOD, then you're welcome. If not, then I'll just tell you about it next time. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> okay. I'm back. I had a bit of a chat. And I should be at max RP at this point. I'm going to real quick check my phone for something. Interesting. What have people said? Shared pictures? Interesting. Hi, send dudes! You mean nudes? I'm in a fight, I need more men! Okay. Thanks, internet. You've made that about Elden Ring now. Yep, so... Max RP. Uh, that's very abusable. <laughs> and there's a place to fish. What was I doing? <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know. I'm so tired. Uh, events? Requests? Go fishing. Fishing time! That was a flub. Been a while since I fished. Can. Yay. Yay. Hope I get a bite. Mine. There we go, crucian cart. Right. Not what I wanted though. There. I need something that I can turn into sashimi. Easy does it. No. Crucian cart. I thought crucian carps were actually like a lake fish, not a river fish. I guess I'm wrong. Wow, I duck at this. Gavelio. Oh, not too shabby. Palma sure works fast. Do you know what this is, Lucy? Of course I do. I was the one who asked him to build it. Oh, really? Yep, Julian keeps going on about how he wanted to go fishing, but it's too dangerous for him to get too close to the water, you know? So I asked Palma to build a spot where we could tag team fish. Tag team fishing? What's that? Well, unlike how you normally fish, you need to stay in sync with a partner to pull it off. But if you succeed, then you'll probably fish up something for better. Far better than what you would have caught by yourself. Feel free to try it out yourself, Ares. You've got my special permission. Thanks. Just keep in mind that you can only do tag team fishing if you have a good friend to help you out. Am, help me! <laughs> okay. Oh, not bad, not bad at all. If you really take fishing seriously, maybe one day you can call you my biggest rival. Your war is 300G. More importantly, it was the fishing rod, but 300G is very useful. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. Oh, less that. Hmm. Hmm. Harvest a potato. That's not going to be happening for a little bit. Grass in the fertilizer bin would be the easiest thing. Well, let's do that. I think a lot 
Thanks a lot for doing all that farm work. I really appreciate how much effort you put into it. You must have felt pretty tired afterwards. Say, did you know that you can, your soil can get tired? It, so tired that no crops will grow in it? When that happens, use some fertilizer and return it to normal. All you need to do is throw any kind of grass in the fertilizer bin and make your soil happy and healthy. When you run out of fertilizer, avoid planting new crops so the soil can take a break and slowly recover on its own. I should put weeds and grass in the fertilizer bin to keep my fields healthy. Fertilizer remaining one. Pick it up. Throw it down. Nice job! Healthy soil needs a good diet of fertilizer, so make sure to add some every day. And don't forget to throw any extra grass or weeds in the fertilizer bin. Please check the nearby chest for some withered grass. Mine iron. Smash iron with a hammer to mine iron. I get an amethyst reward. Uh, yeah, I mean... That would lead to money... It's in a dungeon, so it's probably going to have some iron somewhere. But I'm definitely going to get works, right? I don't care about less outfit yet, despite how much I want to. I need to continue progressing. S sparkly rim. Kednast Pramitska and the Tata. I like sparkling things, but I haven't seen many of them re around here recently, lately. Adashim Matara Bamst Prauskov Gawafna Santessa. I heard you can mine for minerals like iron if you have the hammer. Iron is shiny, so I want to see some. Aries, do you know how to use a hammer? If you do, please find some iron for some ore for iron to show it to me. You can find it in dungeons. Just be sure. Yeah, all the grasses can be. All right. That's not what I was trying to do. Oh, I need to learn to use my directional keys. Okay, apparently there's a timer they can sit on the ground for. That's not something I knew about. Definitely didn't used to be that way. Oh, it might be a, no a certain number of items on the ground. That's why.
Okay, so while the stores are still open... Pomo! 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 I didn't even realize that was a bush. I feel like a fool. Oh. Perfect weather for a nap. Seems like we have a festival tomorrow. I don't have much interest in cooking to begin with, so I can't say that I'm absolutely dying to enter the cooking contest tomorrow. I see you're full of energy. Alma. Sunny salutations. How are you this fine day, Aries? I'm doing just great, Palmo. Say, could you tell me a little bit about your shop? Absolutely, it would be my pleasure, honor, and privilege. Studio Palmo is not only a purveyor of the furniture and first class cookware, but also your go to destination when you want to expand any shop in the Rigbarth. Hold on, does that. You mean we can go around rebottling other buildings on a whim without even asking people for their permission? No, 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 my dear ears. We're not talking about a remodel done on a mere whim. We're talking about art. Somehow I don't think people are going to buy that explanation. As the architect who built most of Rigbarth's beautiful buildings, I don't think adding a tiny addition here or there would cause any problems at all. In fact, I'd go as far as uh, far to say that an unexpected renovation would leave the occupants jumping for joy. I sure hope you're right about that. When something one's about a bode goes undergoes a major transformation, so does their heart. Expanding an establishment would bring nothing but positive changes to Rigbarth Aries, I guarantee it. If ever you have any requests that needs fulfilling, we here at Studio Pommel will make your dreams come true. Glorious greetings, the weather today is beautiful. Warmest of welcomes, come in, come in, what can I do for you today? I'd actually love to see your furniture. Woohoo! You're about to be the proud owner of some fantabulous furniture. What shall we deliver it? Uh, send it to my house. There's a mixer oven. Please take your time. Ah, come on! I don't have either of the things. <laughs> But please take your time. A knife. Yes, let's do it. What? Did you just say to me? Also, I apparently have over eleven hundred points. Please take your time. So I apparently need a license. So we know where I'm going. At least we know where I'm going. Hopefully you know where I'm going. Eliza! Nigel's looking for you. Okay, I'd like to make a directive. have to do them in some kind of order also I have like five days left I don't have to worry about points if I'm already over a thousand at this point do my best. to get your own crafting table buy one from Studio Palmo when you use materials to upgrade armor materials give it additional effects if you want crafting bread 
Ah. I'm assuming crafting bread's the same thing. It, buy it for Randolph. Yeah. Let's do it! I got my crafting license. Now I can buy a crafting table from Studio Palmo. Oh, have you found something you'd like to craft accessories for? Nothing like making a matching set for you and yours, I say. Forging license. Do my best. Time, time to take a license exam. What do you need for smithing? Uh, materials and RP. But you also need guts and determination. And, you know, a friend to cheer you on in a bunch of time. Where can you forge items at a forge? <laughs> when you have a recipe for a weapon you already own, you need less RP to make it. Use HP and might collapse. You lose HP and gain RP. It, it's RP. Let's do it! I got my forging license. Now I can buy a forge from Studio Palmo. Can you now get out there and use those skills to make something great? Um, is it that I haven't cooked before? Is that the reason? What should I make? Pickled turnip. So it sells for 48. So, you know, just up an upgrade. Skill up, fire up. Okay, time to read this. Fire is the same thing as all the other elemental magics, as you might have guessed. The other one, though... Did I pass it? Cooking. Skill needed to become a master chef. Higher skill levels increase the number of recipes you can use and make it easier to learn new ones, as well as slightly raise max RP and vitality. Okay, I'm already level 5 in cooking, so that's rad. We love to see that. Uh. I have an issue, though. I still don't really know how to do this. Also, I keep doing that. <laughs> Eliza, I'm checking before I go. Yeah. Cat. I'm angry about this. That's you. In case you forgot, I'm Luffy, the field captain in charge of the silo. I know you've got a lot on your plate with your amnesia and all, but I suggest you avoid taking, trying to do everything all at once. Relax, take your time, pitch in around the outpost. I'm sure your memories will come back to you someday. I think you're right. Thank you, Captain Olivia. I like her. She's friendly, even if she's supposedly a child. So, can you have multiple going at once? A friend of mine was attacked by some orcs the other day. A whole horde of them, in fact. Think you could thin out their numbers a bit for me? If you take out two of them, that should do the trick. I'm counting on you. I've heard a lot of adventurers complain about orcs attacking recently. If you reduce their numbers by two or so, they'd probably think twice about going after people. 
Think you can do that for me? So, making progress at the same time on those. Also, I'm already up to 1200 G. I need to buy some items then. Hey there. What do you have for sale? Welcome. Potato. Boil that mash down, put the middle stool. Take your time. Uh Spinach isn't even that good right now. Take your time. Take your time. Festival's coming up tomorrow. Today is the first time that we've done the cooking festival. Considering I enacted it, like, yesterday. Maybe two days ago? One of the two. Like a daisy. Hello, what great weather. I hope it stays this way. You know, seeing you always brings back memories of Selfia. That's the name of a little town I lived in some decades ago. Decades? Plural? Oh. Decades? I mean, uh, never mind. Let me guess, just hold us this girl rude. <laughs> I'm kidding. We always live very, very long lives. I remind you of home? Yeah, so for some reason you remind me of them. Perhaps it's just my imagination, but I wouldn't be surprised to hear that you're a little different from everyone else. Seems like we have a festival tomorrow. I don't have much interest in cooking to begin with. Yeah, okay, I did read that already. Hey, Doug. Weather as nice as this makes me want to have a picnic outside. What about you? Yuck, I thought I smelled a bakery. Yeah, I already read that before. Nice days like this make it hard to stay cooped up in the smithy. Make sure you don't hurt yourself while preparing a dish for tomorrow's cooking contest. Uh... Oh, welcome, Marys. Want something to eat? Actually, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about your restaurant first. It's called Wackadaisy, right? Maybe next time. Oh, come on, please? Oh, fine. So, you can eat food here. I would certainly hope so. No, we don't do takeout. Just let me know when you're hungry, okay? Got it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Yes? We also sell recipe bread here. And you can order that for takeout. But buy some if you feel like it. Your sales pitch could use some work. Don't forget to eat a good meal once a day. Just eating something will make you stronger in the long run. Is that true? Yep, so if you're tired, have a meal. You may as well have it here. Such nice weather, it feels good. Welcome, what do you want to eat? Um... Recipe bread, please. Eat this and you'll learn a recipe. Okay, we have one left. You want cooking bread? 400. I... No.
They are kind of right that you should be eating once a day to get the level up for your food. Um, I'll see if I can get anything from the dungeon. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'll definitely drop by at some point. Have we spoken yet? How many are making for the cooking contest tomorrow? Or is that a secret? That. Yeah. Okay. It's a perfect day for hanging laundry out to dry. Tomorrow's a festival day. So my stats are significantly better than they were the start of yesterday. I kind of wish I knew exactly what they were because I feel like they were around 10 or maybe even less on most of my stats. To the point where I come out here and I'm like, oh hey, an orc, oh no! Yeah. Let me guess, it's gonna be a woolly or something? Yeah. I believe they alternate. I think there are some more down here, so... The Wooly and Fleecy will spawn here. And then the Orcs will spawn here. Yep. Done. Green blends in, as you might, you know, guess. <laughs> oh. Huh. That's a source of RP. Cleared the fallen tree off the road, sir. We look we took all the lumber to Studio Palmo. You're sure he'll put it to good use. Oh, that was nice. Gritty equipment. Oh, a chest! A chest! Whispering Woods. A chest! This is where I blacked out. After I collapsed, Hina's cry woke me up. A voice, it came from up ahead. Uh... What's this? Oh, recovery potions. 150 HP, I'm missing 150 HP. I mean, Time to eat. Om and you know, a shield, which is very much nice. 
This will give me three more defense. A small shield, easy to use, low defense capability. But, you know, three more defense, thus raising my defense up to a grand total of 24. Not bad. While traveling through dungeons, you'll come across areas that trap you once you enter them. You must destroy every gate or defeat every monster in the area to proceed. That's just a dead end. All right. A stick! The best weapon! Viscous liquid, huh? Treasure chest. Right. Just get a bunch of free seeds, why not? Not to mention all the healing potions. Was my walking one that went up? Huge fallen trees blocking the road. I wonder what lies beyond it. Though, elsewhere. Full? On everything? Um, that seems like some malarkey. I could eat one of these. Might as well. I did not mean to put that away. Yes. Right. Eating skill up. And now I decide... Oh, this is actually a branch. Okay, uh... Yeah, sure. Oh, that would be my ship. I'm trying to... Okay. 
Okay, now... Yes. Bit better. Inventory management, the video game. Probably should have cleared out my inventory before I came here. Oops. Whoopsie! Goodbye, insect! You don't belong in this world! Uh, I'm afraid of these a little bit, because the ones outside kicked the crap out of me. A shirt? I can stop being naked! Let's check this. Uh, defense plus five. A plain shirt to wear under clothes. It's made from materials which absorb sweat well. So, yeah, that put my defense up to 32 from 27. But that also mean through level up and stuff, I'd already gained three defense since I entered this place. A water gate. So fire... One of them would be better on it. I don't remember which one. Okay, goblins. More powerful than most enemies I've run into, but still not that powerful. Okay, uh... Okay, now I gotta decide what to drop. Well, first off, definitely this. Yo ye! Right. Nice. Earth crystals. Okay, what else do I want to drop? I'm surprised that these don't. Oh, none of them are the same type. That's why. Let's take a gamble. Let's dig it. Oh. Did I just seriously get the really good one? I believe they reset every day. And that one just healed me a bunch of HP and RP. I'm full again. Uh... Let's dig it. That also was a good one. All right. That's the can I threw. Uh, let's head home. It won't take us that long to get back here. This way we can store all of our stuff real quick.
That took a moment. Iron's so pretty, so shiny. And you can find even shinier stuff if you even have a better hammer. Please check the nearby chest for an amethyst. You took care of all those orcs, huh? Thanks for being such a big help. Maybe I've mentioned this before, but I knew someone who, like you who went around putting monsters in their place when things got out of hand. Strange to think I'd run into this sort of person again. I'm glad there are paths crossed. Here, I'd like you to have this. Last outfit. Only the male protagonist can wear this. Looks like this monster's got what was coming to them. Thanks for your help. This reminds me of one time when someone I knew got rid of a bunch of orcs. You've brought back some fond memories. Take this in return. Grace outfit. Only the female protag can wear this. <laughs> this... It's cloning them. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. Raise everyone's friendship level to one or higher. Ooh, that's gonna be a bit, I think. Harvest a potato. Deliver a squid. Um. Honestly... I should probably spend the rest of my day just fishing. Will that help me, though? Because I can't... The problem is I can't make that, so... It's gonna be a bust this first year because I can't make a high-level food. I don't have the ingredients and also just it's not gonna work out the way I want it to. But I can still fish in the ocean to try to get a squid. Is that a crate? Ah. Wild. Yeah, yeah.
Jarella. Jarella, one of the two. Really didn't mean to do that. Brain said do it. I said no. Body did it anyway. Mackerel. Lobster. That's actually really good. There. Okay. Let's catch a big Needlefish. I'm actually getting a lot of variety. Uh The issue with the water of this game is that they do this weird texture over it. So it's really hard to see whether or not they're fish until you cast. Hope I get a bite. All right. Also, I've thoroughly proven that you can uh, level up your fishing skill just by casting, not even catching. Have I ever checked the skill for it, though? Skill needed to become a first-class angler. Higher skill levels reduce RP consumption. Yeah, I think I did read that one. There's something here I'm missing. There's a fisher over there. There's a few fish over there. Let's cast there. I would not have seen them otherwise. I hadn't cast there. Squid. There we go. I got what I was going for. Needlefish. Bigger one than before. Okay. Let's catch a big one. There. Are you running away from me? Hope I get a bite. Not made it to be that far left, but it's fine. You should see it from there. What? Okay, so that one required two, and it messed up the second one, or maybe I did. I messed that one up. Don't turn away from me. There. Hope I get a bite. There. Hope I get a bite. Oh, yeah. All right. Boots.
Okay. It's not a bad first day, or oh, first fishing day's hole. I gotta be sure. Yeah. I'm now sure. What am I gonna cook? I have not shipped these. I have not shipped rice. Which is fine, I'll buy it at some point and do that. I would rather use it for cooking. 2,000 to buy it? Wow, the prices are ridiculous. Let's sell one of these. I believe I've shipped one of each of those things. Fourteen hundred and twenty-three. Check six. I open this up and I sit here for a minute, right? Yeah, it absolutely goes up, even during that. You don't even need a person to talk to, you can literally just interact with your shipping bin. But how did that not get caught? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna let this happen for a minute. I'm actually gonna go out and look at food. I say look at food, it's 4.30. I'll see whether or not we're, we have a plan for dinner, or I might just warm myself up some of the chicken and rice I had for dinner last night. Give me just a minute. So I'm sure I'm already at, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm full. Perfect. Did the log get in the way? Is that what happened? All right. Nice, nice. All right. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I can actually teleport to the Whispering Woods?
That's extremely convenient. Alright. Here we go. Wait. Okay, yeah. Just want to be sure. Run past the enemies of very beaten. Confirming it was, in fact, the amount of items on the ground and not the uh, time, because that can is still there. Oh. Rune abilities and magic. Using rune abilities or magic will drain your RP, but they allow you to unleash powerful attacks. Or cause various effects. Set them the X or Y in, in order to use them. To do this, open the bag page in your camp menu and select rune abilities. Scroll through the rune column on the right and press the A button to select the rune ability or magic spell you wish to use. Then move it over the X or Y column. Okay. So, short sword. Close the gap between enemies in an instant. Follow up while dashing to execute an additional attack. The Whispering Wood Depths. Uh... Am I having issues with my frame rate? Let's check. Because my things... Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dropping massive frames all of a sudden. I'm gonna stop the stream and restart it. You guys ready for potentially a boss battle? I am. That's the right thing. Yeah, it looks like a boss battle to me. Yeah, boss battle. Wolfo! The nine tailed fox. A monster? It's huge. That thing's a danger to anyone who wanders in the forest. attack times thus far. Oh, and now it did it. Did it hit me for like no damage? Your short sword skills increase. You can use charge attacks. What a time for it. Day six Machina. I'm not powerful enough, guys. I have to unleash my ultimate attack. Ah! <laughs> more powerful. That was very easy.
Yeah, that's what I expected. Transformed into a human? Are you Hina's mother? Give her back. Not just any human. She's a were animal. Is she who th I think she is? I have to bring her to town. Boop, boop. <laughs> Emily, hush your face. RP required and XP gained. That was a very easy battle. Why a Durgan? The true final battle begins. Another monster? Just my luck. Damn, no choice but to fight. You understand what it's saying, just like with Fuka. Hi, it's your dad! <laughs> Can you take us to Rigbarth? Despite the fact that I can teleport? Maybe you can't teleport with other people. Hashtag just Earthmate things. Hey, Sonny! Yes, the dragon is fluffy! The dragon who can only love! Simone, is Misa gonna make it? Yes. We didn't worry. Mm -hmm. She's malnourished and in shock, but she doesn't have any serious injuries. All she needs now is to rest. Meanwhile, me? What do you mean she doesn't have any serious injuries? I beat the shit out of her! She just looks over. Pathetic! <laughs> she collapsed due to tiredness, not due to injury. <laughs> from he and me. It's the least we can do. Weapon bread. Om -nom 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 -nom. Learned how to make cutlass. I'll need a forge for the short sword recipe. Om -nom -nom -nom. Aquamarine rod. I'll need a forge for the staff recipe. No? Is the saggy now? Okay. Let me interact. You're not gonna let me say like, oh hey, she's looking better now. And make me assume the worst. Also, it's midnight. Oops. Stop following me. Time for some shit eye. Libby tells me Simone wouldn't like that. No, no, please, not my doctor's license. <laughs> That's not, I can already see my life flashing before my eyes. Alright, and now we have to go three for three. Uh, I challenge you to... Lucy's bad. Three, she wouldn't mind. That would be totally rude of me. Well, uh... Teleport back to the outpost, but not back to our room yet.
Hi, it's me, your dad. Ooh. The Earth Dragon. Fluffy, the Earth Dragon who can only love. New field, new field, new field, new field, new field. Just keep it up with the material stone for now. <laughs> 1 a.m. So 2 a.m. is probably the pass out point. I didn't even press it the last few times. I guess I was mashing so much that it kept pressing. Nice. Well, um, that away. There's zero left. I need one fodder per day. I don't have any fodders, unfortunately. I guess this is where you take care of monsters? Okay, we need to teleport back now. I'm not gonna get a sleeping bonus because it's after midnight. Four hours is not conducive to a uh, no, good night's sleep. <laughs> 